getting built into the city. The city is, for sequence six, Florence, 1480. So some time has passed. Hello everyone, welcome back to more Steven Plays Assassin's Creed 2. On the last episode, we finished sequence five. We murdered a dude in front of, well actually, I mean he was gonna die whether or not we put him out of his misery, but now we're back in Florence, some time has passed. There's probably some new fun things to do. Let's check the map. The map shows, uh, is there a new part of the city to explore? I don't know if the city is actually any larger or not. Uh, but right now it looks like we need to start a memory that is right next to us. Probably not anything else to do, no other pressing issues. Now is that Leonardo's house? No, that's not, is this my old house? Who is that? Oh, that's a Medici. Hey Medici, let's have a chat. The Pazzi are dead. Every one of them. I must admit, I've never before believed I could desire the death of others so badly. Nor I. Ezio, thank you for the role you've played in keeping this dream of mine alive a little longer. L'onore è mio, signore. What will you do now, figliolo? There are still others I must hunt, signore. They are already digging their claws into the heart of Venezia. No. La bella Venezia. Then that is where your journey must take you, Ezio. Before you leave us, I have something for you. A gift. This cape identifies you as a friend of the Medici. As long as you wear it, the city guards will be more tolerant of your actions. But be warned, it will not grant you immunity from the law. Ok. Che la fortuna favorisca la tua lama. When he was presenting it to me, I thought it had a pizza on it. Like I I thought <laughs> it was like the the Medici family owns all of the pizza huts in the area. <laughs> now you will be able to get half price pizza on Tuesday evenings. Okay, no the rivalry in not increase um in Florence or Tuscany. Okay, well that's pretty cool. That's pretty nifty. Uh, so there are things to do. I gotta go to that blue spot where I can assassinate the guy that's chilling right in front of me. Either one would be fine. I guess let's head over to that blue spot and uh, see what it is that we are taking care of today. That blue marker happens to be Leonardo da Vinci's house. Also, you like my cape? Well, not my cape, my outfit. I changed my outfit. <laughs> I really do look like the pizza man. I'm the pizza man. Uh, I decided to change to a new outfit because the tailors apparently vary by city because the options were not the same as the, whenever I last looked. They were different based on the city. So I got red. The crimson monster. The crimson assassin. I'm, I'm the Leonardo. knocking on the door assassin. Leonardo! Mi dispiace, Messer, but he is gone. Maestro Leonardo was commissioned by a Venetian noble to paint some portraits. He paid for the maestro to move his entire workshop to Venezia. It's quite an opportunity. Grazie mille, friend. Oh. Apparently he got paid for that. Road trip. Okay, so... Medici Cueva... Yeah, well, I <laughs> already had that. So let me guess, he is outside of the city. And we have got to get to him. Let me just check the map quick and I can assess that. Uh, yeah, he is go. he is to the mountains, which is a new city. Fantastic, I think I'm gonna swing by the villa before I, before I go to the mountains, just to collect the money in the chest. But then uh, that is where we'll head. All right, so I swung by the villa. I increased all the stuff to level 3, all the renovations are done. All that's really left to do is buy items. Like, I have to buy all of the paintings in the game, I have to buy all of, like, the equipment. But otherwise, I think I've, uh, taken care of everything I can do there. Are you sure you want to go to the mountains? I sure am. Okay! Cape not effective in this area, but I'm gonna wear it anyway because it's really freaking cool. Leonardo! Ezio? What luck! I, uh, ever run into a bit of trouble. <laughs> Let me see if I can help. I know how to fix it, but lack the means to do so. If you could just lift the wagon. I'm Superman. 
What is this thing? Eh? It looks like a giant bat. Oh, nothing. Just an idea I've been working on. I could not leave it behind. <sighs> what is it for? Well, I shouldn't really talk about it. Beh, al diavolo. I can't hold it in anymore. Ezio, I think I figured out how to make a man fly. <laughs> Come on, I'll drive. But I haven't even told you where I'm going. Oh man, the flying machine. Also, am I really driving? I get to drive? I guess I do. Drive Leonardo's carriage toward Venice. Okay. I'm sure nothing will go wrong and everything will be fine. Venezia, such a beautiful city. So many sources of inspiration. Ponte di Rialto, Piazza San Marco, L'Arsenale. What's wrong? We're not alone. What's happening? Who are they? Rodrigo Borges, men. Why? What do they want with us? I think they want us dead. Leonardo, hi! Okay. Okay. So, oh my god. G. Oh god. Oh, Lord of mercy. Okay. Use to steer and unbalance the enemies. Woo! Mini game. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think I have to hold. Smash uh, hanging enemies onto roadside objects to dislodge them. Okay. I'm trying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo! Okay, we're doing good. We're doing okay. Haven't destroyed the carriage. This is not what I was expecting. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Turn it tight. Man, this is, uh, this is quite the path to uh, Venice there. Oh, God. No, 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 honey. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. I won't. I won't. I'm being careful. Sort of. We're okay. We're all right. We're. I mean, it's it's been better. Okay. Oh, good. That's what I thought this needed. Get off the. Hold on tight. This is going to be a little rough. Get off the carriage. Ezio, watch out behind you. Do something. Got him. No, oh, Lord. What's going on? We good? Oh, we're fine. But they're not. Whew. Survive the attack. <gasps> okay. Now there are exploding arrows. Okay, just gotta continue to avoid all this garbage. Everything's fine. <laughs> no problem at all. Oh, God. Okay, kind of ran through the fire there. Uh, looks like my wheels are on fire. It's a bit of a problem. No, they went out. It went out. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, God. No. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off. Kind of destroying the carriage running into stuff, but I think it also gets rid of them, so maybe it's okay if I do that. Oh, crap. Get off of the carriage. Get off. Oh, Lord. Tight turn. There we go. No, 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 no. 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 I'm still trying to steer this thing. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my god. What the heck? This is ridiculous. Get Get off of me. I'm having to steer using the freaking radar. Okay, I'll keep that in mind as I avoid the bombs and the people jumping repeatedly onto the stupid thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay, the carriage is literally on fire at this point. Like, this is really problematic. Go, Leonardo. They are here for me, not you. I'll catch up with you later. Okay. So people want to plow, oh god. Hi friends. Oh god, gotta get better at that counter. That counter. No? Ugh! That was a pretty good counter. Let's try it again, shall we? I'm pretty sure I stabbed him right in the nads. Want it? You want it? Ugh! Nope, nope. Couldn't get pissed. Got it! Ugh! What a mess to clean up. Got him. I'm getting better at this this timing thing. 
Thank God. You sure you want some of this? Still time to run! That's it. Come on! We're doing this the old-fashioned way. Uh! 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 Come here! Uh! 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 That was fun. Where's Big Dude? I don't actually know if Big Dude has, like, more money than the others. But I like to imagine. Let me touch your thigh. Okay, um, so that's where we're ultimately going. There's gotta be, yeah, there's a horse nearby. Where are we, exactly? Are we just outside of the city? We're in the mountains, just as, as it said. In fact, it looks like we could even go back the way we came. Like, all of that is accessible on foot if we were really into that. But, uh, there's no reason to. Also, I don't think I need a horse. I think it can just walk up to here and it's gonna, it's gonna move me forward. Or maybe not. Maybe it just finishes the thing. Okay. Well, that's that. Let's take a horsey. Races are unlocked. Am I supposed to be taking a horse up here? Assassination contracts are unlocked. Where am I going? The world is falling apart. I'm unlocking all sorts of stuff, and uh, that's exciting. Beat up events are unlocked. Okay, but we didn't complete the sequence. Uh, now where are we? A new area? Certainly a new area. This has got to be new because there's a bunch of stuff on the map I haven't seen. Forley. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go over this nice bridge. No, which way is into the city? This way, maybe. Okay, let's just, uh, let's be careful not to run into people. People are not going to appreciate that very much. Just, uh... I have a lot of money in the chest. By the way, that, 10,000, that's what we get every 20 minutes now. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, it's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. Where? Okay, so this is Venice. Because we got the, the water and everything. And also, um, Leonardo said that that's where he was going, so. I gotta get into the city. I could probably go into the city from the front. And, woo! Let's jump off here. Oh, I actually thought that this was the entrance to the city. This is not the entrance to the city. Hi, horse. You're, uh, you're still with me. I'm not really sure where the entrance is. I'm just gonna keep going around until I see an entrance. Be careful not to run into someone. Some galloping. Uh, no. I'm still... The horse doesn't want to go over the bridge. Oh, this can't be right. Look at this! Because now there's, like, a big old... A big old thing that goes around the crap. What? I hear you. What do I, what do I hear? Are you? Are you at the ship? I hear. I hear someone's calling me. Where? Where are you, Leonardo? Is that you? Here. Over here. God, it was hard to find you. Hey, man, how's it going? Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. I did what had to be done. You would have done the same. I doubt it. Bravery is not my strong suit. I owe you a debt, brother. Di niente. Tutti a bordo! Fra poco si salpa! That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Where's your pass? What pass? You don't have a pass? You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Eh... Uh, nobody. Basta! No pass, no entrance! Don't worry, Leonardo. I'll come up with something. Huh. I understand that. Don't just stand now. there! I need help! Okay. Help the screaming woman get back to the docks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was random. So we're not actually in Venice. We're at the place that connects to Venice. Get a boat. Yeah. There's one. Uh, jump and press A while in midair to dive underwater. I'm gonna- I'm coming. I'm coming. You're alright. You're okay. Come climb up in here. Get- get up in the boat! Why can't I... Get in the boat? There we go. Got it. Save the stranded woman. Alright, you really gotta shut up. Um, I'm coming. Press B repeatedly to row. 
Uh, 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 this is not, this is not how you row a boat. Oh, 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 only to help someone in distress. Which is exactly why you impress. And you are Messer... Auditore. But please, call me Ezio. Who is this? Caterina Sforza. A countess by marriage. Caterina was notorious far before she ever arrived in Forli. Raised in the court of Milan, she received a classical education while tutored in the art of war by her father, the Duke. At court, Katharina also acquired a passion for alchemy and hunting. 1473, when she was 10 years old, Katharina became engaged to a name, the Pope's nephew. They consummated their marriage when she was 14. Once in Rome, she was heralded as one of the most outgoing nobles at court, while her husband had a reputation for being one of the most ruthless. With the premature death of the Pope's brother, Gila Girolamo gained even more power, securing the titles of Lord of Imola and Forli. When the Pope died... Okay, there's actually a lot more information. <laughs> okay, she rode on horseback, blah, 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 blah. Okay, sounds like she's a pretty, pretty sweet woman. She's pretty, pretty powerful. And But she did die of pneumonia. We know a lot. Also, she consummated her marriage when she was 14. But it's common back then. Now, Etsy, we must find you suitable reward. Do you have any suggestions? There is perhaps something you could help me with. I'm all ears. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna say until I get to this thing, but now you can help me. Yes, Signora. Whatever you say, Signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I took care of it. Thank you, Katarina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Forli, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. I look forward to enjoying your hospitality. Can we go there now? Can we? Can we? Do we have to get on the boat? I want to get on the boat. Please accept my most humble apologies, Messere. Had I known, <laughs> it's quite all right, my friend. That's great. Um. Yeah, uh, so Katarina lives in the city, and I now have no interest in getting on the boat. Just saying, no interest in getting on the boat. Where's Katarina? <laughs> she in this? Can we go see her? Is that an option? Is that on the map? No, it's it's really not. In fact, there's nothing on the map. We can't really even see here because there's no place to do a viewpoint, even though it looks like there should be. Well, for now, it looks like what we're supposed to do is get on the boat. So on the boat we shall go. Leonardo, I'm coming with you, buddy. Let's go. Be careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? My next conquest. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is... Husband? See, si. her husband is the Lord of Forli. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Sempre come una donna per me. Oh boy. Let's sail very slowly. Everything all right? Better than all right. You're making amazing progress. Amazing's quite a strong word. Then why are we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the animus can have, uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities, you know. So what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Subject 16. We have safeguards, Desmond. And they kept him in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. Anyway, I was hoping we could test out your skill retention. 
See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready. Man, I forgot what it was like to <laughs> not be in that freaking chair. Hey, what's up? Hey, nice work today. You're a natural. Thanks. It's definitely getting easier. I gotta say, after all the crap I went through at Abstergo, it's nice to be with the good guys. Good guys? Let's not get carried away. What's that supposed to mean? In case you've forgotten, Rebecca, we're assassins. I can look it up for you if you like. Basically, it means we assassinate people. Only when we have to. It's a choice. You're choosing to kill. I haven't killed anyone. No, not yet. But what do you think all this is for, eh? You think Lucy is giving you Ezio's abilities so you can build schools in South America and deliver rice to starving Indonesians? What are you, Desmond? A vegan? You'd be the first vegan assassin in history. Look, it's not ideal. And taking a life is never easy. But sometimes, there's no other way. Sometimes, Desmond, people have to die for things to change. She's got a point. But don't fool yourself into thinking you have no say. I mean, isn't that what we're all about here? Safeguarding free will. Thank you, Rebecca. And thank you for your product placement. Beats headphones. Go out and buy a few. Now, I wonder if I talk to uh, my friend over here, if he is going to... If it's going to be the same conversation. Maybe not. I don't know. What could 16 have found that needs so much secrecy and security? Well, I don't know, do I? Lucy thinks it's something about the Codex, but I'm not so sure. I'm all ears if it's as life-changing as 16 says. <laughs> Blimey, if I was allowed to use the Animus, I'd be the one in there finding out. Instead, as usual, I'm forced to sit here on the sidelines. You sound really upset. I'm sorry. I wonder if I can talk to the people multiple times. I don't know. What are you up to? What am I up to? Who are you? My mum? I've been running traces on the Codex pages, looking to see if any of them are still around. And? Nothing concrete. Reports of one in the archives of the National Central Library in Florence. Maybe a few in the hands of collectors. Probably Templars. I'd send someone to check it out, but we're very short on manpower. How do you think the Codex wound up in Italy? I mean, it seems so random. Dante Alighieri by way of Marco Polo. Seriously? Something happened in 1321, yeah? Now, I'm still working on making the connections, but from what I can tell, Polo encountered the assassins while visiting Kublai Khan. This right, this must be when he obtained the Codex. Now, when he returned to Italy, he passed it on to Dante. Dante was close to him, if not an assassin himself. Now, I've no idea what brought the two of them together, but I'll tell you what. I reckon we could find out. I don't think Lucy wants us messing with the Animus. Yeah, you're right. We've got enough to deal with. I guess satisfying my curiosity will have to wait. Hmm. So apparently, yeah, you can talk to people multiple times, which is interesting. How'd you get mixed up in all this? Most assassins, Desmond, are like you, yeah? They're born into the Brotherhood. Not me, though. Ah, uh, here we go. What? He asked. Anyway, I've always been a big fan of the unexplained. There's something exciting there, you know? A sense that life is more interesting, more mysterious than we've been raised to believe. So what, you just stumbled across the assassins? No. I found the Templars first, actually. Abstergo is a big company. It's too big, which means there were slip-ups. You know, like that mess they're having right now with the fluoride. Only I was tracking this stuff years ago. I must have been, what, 14, 15? You knew Abstergo was a Templar company? No, not at first. I just knew they were up to no good, and I figured maybe I could do something about it. So I started digging up everything I could on the company, posting stuff to news groups, trying to spread the word, looking for people who might have stories to tell. You must have gotten Abstergo's attention. Well, fortunately, I got Rebecca's first. Otherwise, I'd probably be at the bottom of a river. You're welcome. Yeah, she tried to warn me, told me I was messing with the wrong kind of people. And what did you do? I thought you were mental. But now you know better. Yep, now I know you're just a bit mental. Long story short, I saved his ass. Multiple times. Should have dropped him and let Abstergo have their way. Listen to you, trying to be all badass. So what happened? I have a gift, Desmond. I have a gift for seeing things, making connections. Like your eagle vision, you know? Only useful. We offered him a place with us. <laughs> yes, you did, yeah. The alternative? A life on the run from the most powerful organization on the planet. 
I decided to prolong my life. I'm eccentric like that, so I signed up. I've been doing research and analysis for them ever since. Best part is, I love it. Interesting. There's so many dialogue things. I had no idea this was all here. And I may have been able to ask them all of this stuff earlier in the game, too. I have no idea. But I can talk to both of them a lot more. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to stop for now, though, because otherwise I might be here all night talking to them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more Steven Plays Assassin's Creed 2. There he is! Get him! Oh, he can hit me! Oh, Jesus! Hurry, I'm losing him! You're losing? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm right in front of you! <laughs> I feel kind of bad about this. That guy never, that guy never had a chance. Oh, he fell through the floor. It's the woman from Acre. What was her name? Maria. Yeah. I wonder what he wants with her. Whoa. All right. Wasn't expecting that.